Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss locally weighted regression algorithm. Like K nearest neighbor algorithm, a locally weighted regression algorithm is a instance based learning algorithm. The phrase uh, locally weighted regression is called local because the function is approximated based only on data near the query point. We don't consider all the data points. We consider only the data points near to the query point. So that is the first reason uh, why it is called as uh, locally. Second one is weighted. Weighted because the contribution of each training example is weighted by its distance from the query point. So uh, like uh, distance weighted K nearest neighbor algorithm, we consider the distance between the query point and the instance so that uh, we can give more importance to the point which is present near to the query point. So that is uh, the main reason behind uh, uh, considering the weight here. And finally regression because uh, this is the term used widely in uh, statistical learning for the problem of approximating real valued function. It means that we can use a locally weighted regression algorithm only to handle real valued target functions. We cannot use it for discrete valued target functions. So that's a very important point one should remember here. So these are the main reasons why the name came like locally weighted regression algorithm in this case. Given a new query instance uh, that is XQ, the general approach in locally weighted regression is to construct an approximation function that is uh, F dash or F cap that fits the training examples in the neighborhood surrounding XQ. So what I supposed to do here is we need to find an approximate function F cap here that will fit all the training examples near this particular XQ. So that is the main intention behind this particular algorithm. This approximation is used to calculate uh, the value for the new instance that is XQ. Uh, it can be calculated using F cap of XQ in this case. Now uh, we will take some examples to understand uh, the locally weighted regression algorithm. This is one example. You can see here we have some uh, uh, data points in this case. We need to find a line. Uh, it may be a straight line or it may be a curve also which will fit to this particular given data in this case. Similarly, we have one more uh, data. These particular data points uh, need to be uh, fit. Uh, we have drawn this particular line uh, which will fit to this given data. So that's a one more example in this case. Now, uh, how this uh, locally weighted uh, regression algorithm works? Uh, consider a locally weighted regression in which the target function f is approximated near xq using linear function and it is written uh, in the form f cap of x is always equivalent to w0, w1 a1x, wn anx. Here a1, a2 and an are called as the attributes of instance x w0, w1 and wn are called as the coefficient of attribute or also called as the weights of this particular function. But the question is we know the attribute values but we don't know what are the values of this particular weights. So initially what we do is uh, we will assign these uh, weights a random value and then we will try to fine tune these values in such a way that this particular function will fit to the given training examples. So that is the main idea here. So what we do initially we will uh, assign some random values to this particular weights and then we will fine tune these particular weights or we modify these particular weights in such a way that this function will uh, fit to the given training examples. Now to understand uh, uh, how to modify these particular weights or how to fine tune these particular weights we will consider the gradient descent rule of uh, artificial neural network. Uh, here what we do is uh, we will uh, calculate the error term uh, with respect to, to the target output and the calculated output. The error term is always uh, given like uh, uh, half the squared difference between the target output and the calculated output over the, all the training examples. So this is how actually we used to write the error term in uh, 
uh, artificial neural network with respect to, to gradient descent rule. Here uh, TD is you can say that uh, the target output it is known to us it is fixed and OD is the calculated output it will change. For example, I will take a very simple uh, example here. Let us say that this is one uh, neuron or a node in artificial neural network. X1 is the input and X2 is the another input. W1 is the weight assigned here and W2 is the weight assigned here. Now OD is calculated as summation of WI XI here. This is nothing but a output. So if it is with respect to the example, this is OD. In general, I have written that's the reason it is just a output here. We can say output. Now uh, this is used over here. This is a fixed one. We don't need to modify it because uh, we have to consider the uh, the actual output and then that calculate output. Based on that, we will calculate this particular error term. Now the question is uh, how to modify this particular weight in gradient descent rule. So what we do here is uh, we use this particular equation. This equation is uh, wi is equal to wi plus delta wi. And delta w i is always equivalent to minus n. n is nothing but our learning rate. Differentiation of this particular error term with respect to w i. Now I will try to do the differentiation over here so that you can easily understand it. This minus will remain as it is and learning rate will remain as it is. Here we have 1 divided by 2. So I will write 1 divided by 2 as it is. Summation of uh, d over capital D. The differentiation of this one is 2 times td minus uh, od that's uh, true and then td is fixed because of that uh, the differentiation of td will become uh, 0 minus od od can be written like uh, this one the summation of wi xi so i will write it as uh, differentiation of wi xi or wi now uh, what happens in the next step is uh, you can see here delta wi is equal to this minus and this minus will get cancelled so we will get n here and this two and this two will get cancelled summation of uh, d over d and this one is uh, td minus od will be carried as it is this zero will go differentiation of wi xi with respect to, to wi so differentiation of wi with respect to wi is one and we will left with xi because we are considering over the training example d we will write it as xid now uh, we have to use this equation to calculate uh, the modified weight and we once you modify this particular weights uh, we have to cross check again whether this particular uh, uh, error term is minimum or not if it is a minimum uh, we can consider this particular weights otherwise we need to modify this particular weights unless and until we get the minimum error in this case or the acceptable error in this case so this is how actually uh, the gradient descent rule in artificial neural network works the same approach is uh, followed in locally weighted uh, regression also. Here we have these particular weights. We want to modify these particular weights in such a way that this particular line will fit to the given training example. So that is what the main idea here. So similarly, uh, the gradient recent tool of uh, artificial neural network, uh, what we do here is we will calculate the error term of uh, the curve. Uh, fx is the actual uh, um, can say that the value and uh, f cap of x is the calculated value and uh, the error term is uh, half the square difference between actual value minus calculated value or all the examples in this case the same way what we did in artificial neural network we have calculated the error term in this case also and now uh, we want to modify the weights. Uh, let us say that uh, wj I will write is equivalent to wj plus uh, delta wj in this case. Now how to get this delta wj? Delta wj is equivalent to uh, similarly what we had done in uh, artificial neural network the same equation I am using that is n that is the learning rate. f of x is uh, nothing but the actual output and this is the calculator or uh, the output. The difference between this is the error term and uh, uh, in this case we have uh, aj that is nothing but uh, the coefficient uh, attribute over here with respect to, to x the example or the instance here or all the training example so we have to do it for uh, all the training example here we will get x1 x2 x3 all those particular examples here now once you do this particular thing we can put this particular delta wj over here so that you will get the modified uh, weights here 
so see, this is where we are going to do the weight modification unless and until whatever that uh, curve we will draw which will fit to the given training examples over here but one thing uh, we need to remember here is uh, here we are considering all the training examples that is x belongs to capital d uh, but uh, the, this particular term will not match with that one that is uh, locally we are interested in only the local examples or the instances uh, rather than considering all that's the first thing and the weighted is also not present here that's a weight is not yet considered so what we do is uh, we have uh, different uh, possible criteria so we can use those particular things so that we can use both this particular concept that is locally as well as uh, the weighted concepts here so the first one is uh, minimize the squared error or just the k nearest uh, neighbors so rather than considering all the training examples consider only k nearest neighbors over here and then reduce the error so that can be written something like this the error term with respect to xq is half uh, summation of f of x minus f cap of x bracket square that's true but here i'm not going to write x belongs to d i'm going to write x belongs to k nearest neighbors of xq so calculate the nearest neighbors of xq with respect to, to those examples reduce the error term in this case that's a one possibility second possibility is uh, consider all examples but to consider the distance term because we have to give importance to the nearest examples rather than considering the far away example here so that's the reason we consider we don't consider nearest neighbors here we can say all training examples but the distance we try to include in our equation that is uh, k of d x q minus x this is the distance of new instance with respect to the current point and k is the decreasing function we can say that's a decreasing function which will decrease uh, this particular distance the one which is having minimum distance will be given the more importance here so that's what the meaning of this uh, equation now here we have considered only the nearest neighbors here we have included the weight so that these two are included separately so what we do in the third case is we will include both uh, or combine these two things to consider locally as well as the weight terms so it will become half x belongs to k nearest neighbors of xq so nearest neighbors are considered here and we have considered the distance term also so once you consider all these particular things uh, this will become our error term now once this has become our error term in the previous case uh, uh, x belongs to d was there and this one was not there so that is what uh, the differentiation we did so here uh, because this is the actual error term for locally weighted regression we have to take the differentiation of this term this uh, delta wj will become n as it is this particular term is uh, rather than writing x belongs to d we write x belongs to k nearest neighbors and this term will be copied as it is and this one will become 2 times f of x minus f cap of x and the 2 and 2 will get cancelled over here and finally we will get this particular term now using this particular term what we can do is we can modify the weight wj here that is wj is equal to wj plus delta wj in this case so uh, end of the day what we are going to do is we are going to fine tune the weights so that whatever the curve we draw which will fit to the given training example so this is how actually the locally weighted regression algorithm works here the end product of uh, this locally weighted regression algorithm is the set of weights we start with random weights and we will come up with the fine tuned weights which will give us a curve which will fit to the given training example i hope uh, this particular concept is clear like uh, how locally weighted uh, regression algorithm works if you have any questions you can put those questions in the description below if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching